What up guys, Golzen here for Anime Uproar, and I heard you loud and clear on the top 10 facts you didn't know about Asta video. And so the Black Clover facts are making a comeback with the awesome leader of the Black Bulls, who is always taking a dump at the wrong time, Yami. If you guys want to keep the Black Clover fact videos coming, make sure to smash that like button to let me know. And make it a triple combo by smashing that subscribe button and ringing that magic YouTube bell so future Black Clover videos are sent straight to your phone. Let me know what fact video you are burning up to see and you just may see it pop up soon. If you love Black Clover and want to support this channel at the same time, you can now motivate yourself to crush it in life with your very own Asta Dream Big Work Hard t-shirt. I am extremely passionate about the idea of chasing epic dreams and inspiring others to work towards their dreams as well, and I feel like Asta is a character that captures that idea perfectly. Through hard work and persistence, he managed to overcome his poor, magicless background and become a magic knight, and is now working towards his dreams of becoming the wizard king and protecting everybody. So, with the help of professional manga artist Kuzomari, we made this shirt to motivate us and you to work hard while we move towards our big dreams. Fans of Anime Uproar can now get 25% off by using the code UPROAR25 at checkout. And without further ado, let's jump into some dark facts. Fact number one. Speaking of dark, let's look at Yami's name. Tabata often tries to have the names of his characters reflect them or their powers in some way. This is nothing new in Shonen, and if you watched any of the My Hero Academia fact videos, you know that Horikoshi pretty much always does this, including with his main character Midoriya, who has Midori, aka the color green in his name. His name reflects his green hair, green eyes, green hero costume, as well as the fact that he is green, or in other words a beginner when the story starts. Tabata has admitted to doing this too, except his story doesn't take place in Japan, so he uses even more languages. In a French interview, he was asked where he got French last names, such as Klaus Lunette. Tabata responded that he was looking for keywords relating to the characters in dictionaries of different languages, and he picked the ones that pleased him. He said that there are many languages in the Black Clover universe, so it's the same idea as in My Hero Academia except Tabata is using more than just a Japanese language. However, he does also use the Japanese language when it comes to Yami. Yami's name reflects his magic powers and personality. Yami means dark or darkness in Japanese, and as we know by now, Yami has dark magic. His personality can also be dark as he's quick to threaten people's lives. Yami's name also contains the kanji for night and large. Obviously, the night is another reference to darkness, but we also have large, which can be seen as a reference to his large frame since Yami is easily one of the most jacked dudes in the world of Black Clover. Unlike Short Stuff, he is also considerably tall as well. But the question remains, why does Yami have a Japanese name while other people don't? This question brings us to fact number two. Yami is from the Japan, of the Black Clover world. Although there isn't a Clover Kingdom or Diamond Kingdom in our own world, there does seem to be a Japan in the Black Clover series. Although it is never called Japan, Yami is said to be a foreigner from the land of the rising sun, which is another way people refer to Japan in our own world. His parents fished for a living, and in the real world, Japan is famous for their commercial fishing industry. And fishing plays an important role in the country's history and culture as well. As mentioned, Yami Sukehiro has a Japanese name, but he also has a Japanese blade, a katana, which is a traditionally made Japanese sword that was used by samurai in ancient and feudal Japan. In the land of the rising sun, they speak a different language, so after he got shipwrecked and ended up on the shores of the Clover Kingdom, he had to pick up an entirely different language. But Julius helped him out and taught him how to write in the language of the Clover Kingdom, which also happens to be similar to the language of the Diamond Kingdom. If you pay attention, there are even more references to Yami's Japanese origins. You can leave any other examples you can think of in the comments below. Fact number 3. Yami is actually based on a real life person. In the Asta video, I explained that the Black Clover creator and everyone who's met him will tell you that he's exactly like Asta. So it makes sense that Yami, Asta's captain and mentor, would be based on one of Tabata's own mentors. And it turns out he actually was. Aspiring mangakas or manga artists often start out with assisting more established mangakas. When asked about how many assistants he has, Tabata explained that he had six, 
and that the person who inspired him to create Yami was a mangaka he assisted himself. He said he appreciates the experience he gained from being an assistant and how it helped him get to where he is today. The inspiration for Yami appears to be Toshiaki Iwashiro, the author of Siren, a series that got 16 volumes. Tabata assisted Iwashiro, and out of everyone that could have possibly been included in Volume 1 of the Black Clover manga, Tabata included a crossover manga at the end that he made with his mentor. It was a crossover between Black Clover and Iwashiro's manga Kagami Gami, which was then running in Shonen Jump but has since been discontinued. Ironically, in the manga, Iwashiro's character is actually joining the Black Bulls, while in reality it was Tabata who joined Iwashiro's team when he first came to Tokyo. In the afterward, Tabata even says they got married and his mentor, his Yami, was the guest of honor at the ceremony and he read a wonderful speech for Tabata and his wife. He goes on to say that he will forever be in his debt and no matter how much he'll thank him, it will never be enough. And he's right that he owes Iwashiro a lot and we do as well because not only did he show Tabata the ropes of the manga world, he also inspired one of the baddest and most popular characters in Black Clover. Which brings us to fact number 4. Let's discuss Yami's popularity. In the first two Japanese popularity polls, Yami got second place, only losing out to the MC himself, the big dreaming, hardworking Asta. However, the popularity poll results were different in the West. In the two Viz popularity polls, Yami actually got first place in both, even beating out the protagonist. This is a huge feat which should definitely not be sneezed at. The life-threatening, wrong time dumping captain of the Black Bulls managed to get first place in a world that's filled with awesome characters like MC Asta, Best Girl Noel, Epic Firebender Fugoleon, and so on. There's no doubt about it, Yami is extremely popular everywhere, but let me know why you think he's even more popular in the West than Asta. Fact number 5. Next, let's look at some of the super fun rankings that are included as bonus material in the manga volumes, and how Yami fared in them. In terms of physical strength, out of everyone in the world of Black Clover, Yami came in first place. Asta, the character who devoted so much time to physical training to compensate for his lack of magic, even ranked lower than Yami. So he's definitely got the bronze, now let's turn to intelligence. He ranked 10th most intelligent when it came to Magic Knight Captains. You may be thinking, how is he so stupid that he came in 10th out of 9 captains? But this list actually included the new Purple Orca Captain and the acting Crimson Lion Captain. So he didn't even come in last, he came in second last, beating out Jack the Ripper. Keep in mind though, captains tend to be extremely intelligent, so we can get a better sense of Yami's brains if we look at his intelligence compared to the other Black Bulls. In this case, he came in 6th place, while our MC Asta came in last at 11th place. However, as we all know, not giving up and surpassing your limits is always more powerful than intelligence, so this doesn't hurt either of them too much in battle. Yami is also the 5th best character at handling his liquor. And although he didn't rank in the top 5 for best looking male characters in the series, it is noteworthy that the number 1 most beautiful female in the world of Black Clover, which is Charlotte, according to the manga creator, has an undying crush on our boy Yami. Fact number 6 For this fact, let's go over Yami's statistics according to the data book. He scored a perfect 5 out of 5 in physical strength, a 5 out of 5 in magic amount, a 4 out of 5 in Magic Control, a 4 out of 5 in Magic Sensing, a 4 out of 5 in Cleverness, and his customized category was Limit Surpassing, and you can bet he scored a perfect 5 out of 5 in that. To be honest, I'm even surprised he didn't score a 6 out of 5 in the category. But it's crazy to think about the fact that Yami is even stronger than Asta, except instead of having no magic, he has a 5 out of 5 in magic amount. He's like the best of both worlds. Throw in his ability to surpass his limits when the situation calls for it, and you have easily one of the strongest mages in the entire series. Let me know who you think is the strongest mage in Black Clover in the comment section below. Fact number 7. Yami wasn't initially going to be as jacked as he is now, although he was always planned to be the baddest captain ever. 
His initial sketch reveals that he was originally going to be a bit leaner, and that his height was going to be 176 centimeters or 5 foot 9 inches. Obviously, he ended up being the physically strongest person in the Black Clover world that we've met so far, so his design got bulkier to reflect that. And his height ended up being 183 centimeters. In other words, he is over six feet tall. Along with physical strength and magical amount, he is even impressively tall for anime, especially compared to Shortsta, who is only 155 centimeters tall or five foot one. Yami's definitely got a lot going for him. Fact number eight: Yami's Japanese voice actor is a 46-year-old Junichi Suabe. He won Best Supporting Actor award in the Seventh Seiyu Awards. He played the MC Takashi Komuro in High School of the Dead and the exceptionally talented Daiki Aomine in Kuroko no Basuke, to name a few of his older roles. More recently, fans of the channel may also like to know that he actually voiced the other awesome and dark shonen mentor from My Hero Academia, Shota Aizawa. This actually makes so much sense. I am not at all surprised to figure this out because Yami and Aizawa definitely give off a similar vibe. Similarly, Sins fans should know that Junichi even made an appearance in that series as Bond's mentor and father figure Jivago. Long story short, Junichi has been killing it for like two decades at this point, voicing many characters from popular anime. And with ongoing roles like Aizawa and Yami, it seems like he'll be around for a good while to come. Fact number 9. Yami's English version is voiced by the 45-year-old Christopher Robin Sabbath. Christopher is a legend in his own right, and he has been active in anime for about as long as Junichi has. He has done many iconic roles like Vegeta in Piccolo and Dragon Ball, Zoro in One Piece, and even the other great mentor in My Hero Academia, All Might himself. There's no doubt that Yami is in good hands with these two guys, but let me know if you personally prefer one version of Yami over the other in the comments. Fact number 10. Alright, we have arrived to the legendary fact number 10, which if you've watched these videos, you know is not just one fact, but a kind of lightning round of as many facts as I can mention in a short period of time. The name of this round usually changes depending on the character I'm covering, so rather than calling this a lightning round, let's dub it the limit surpassing round. Let's surpass our 10 fact limit in 3, 2, one less jam. Yami has also been called the Destruction God, or in other words, the God of Destruction, so he shares the title with other insanely powerful anime entities like the Colossal Titan and Biru-sama. Yami is 28 years old, and he was born on September 17th, making him a Virgo. He likes cigarettes, so he joins Spike, Sanji, Onizuka, and other anime characters who make smoking look way too cool. He also likes intimidation and interesting people, which is why the Black Bulls are probably the most interesting group of misfits ever. Yami's grimoire is the background for the fifth volume of Black Clover, and his face is on the spine of the sixth volume. Yami used to be part of the Azure Deer Squad along with William Vengeance under Julius. When it comes to fights, he has either won, got a draw, or been interrupted every time, so he doesn't actually have a loss to his name yet. There was also a rare sketch in the manga where Tabata drew Yami and Yuno together, an unlikely pair as he notes. Lastly, his blood type is O, as an OMG, Yami is the baddest. And that is it for today's video, thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, make sure to pick up the closest katana and use dimension slash on that like button. And if you haven't, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and ring that magic YouTube bell so the lady loving Finral can teleport future Black Clover videos straight to your phone as soon as they come out. If you want to help decide what videos I make in the future, make sure to suggest a character you are really passionate about seeing next in the comments. If you want to rock off some Black Clover merch that will motivate you to hustle and support more content like this at the same time, then definitely check out our Asta Dream Big Work Hard shirt at AnimeUproar.com, link in the description. And remember to use the code UPROAR25 to get 25% off your purchase. Thank you for your support, it means the world to me, and until next time, see ya, Space Cowboy!